guys welcome back to my my hobbies channel let's back on now this time today i'm doing a collaboration but showcasing mine and hobbies one of our mini six piece glitter collections i'm doing it with sarah from pumpkin snail station um all i've got is my tips are already prepped with base coat on their cure and then the lamp but i want to show you the colors i'm using today i'm using um dreamy summer Mirandi Grey, these are from the Model 1's 18 piece kit that I reviewed and I'm also using the Imelie's 0300 I'm using these as well, I'm not sure if I'm going to be using my no wipe top coat from the Premier Gel because I'm not sure on how I'm going to do what I'm doing and it's a thicker viscosity as well, so I may use that one. And I've also got my Imelie's, um, Imelie's no wipe top coat as well. So, we're going to start off by painting the nails. I want to keep it with the blue... Um, tones in this one, picking up some grey, so I've got some like bigger chunky ones and the rest are fine, so what I'm going to do is, I want to stick with the, the blues if I can and add a bit of grey in to, so it's not all blue related, so I'm going to start off by just giving these, I want to do one coat with you on camera and then I want to do the rest off camera to save on time. I'm going to just paint what I think what I want to paint. So I do like that blue because it's such a gorgeous blue. Trying to give these some look how gorgeous and blues are, guys. I, I used this um blue the other day in a collaboration I did the other day. It's such a stunning colour. And I'm doing it on top of white tips today because it's just ones that are that was there at the top of the time. Remembering to cap off the free edge. And then I'm gonna use this blue on my nail. This is such a sweet blue. There's going to be no wrong or wrong reason. I'm just, all it is, is a collaboration. Like I said, with Sarah from Pumpkin Snail Station. It's just also to showcase the glitter mix. And on the other one, I want to put a grey, just to tone that down a bit. I can never get these little bottles to stand up straight. I'm always knocking them all over. And these are already had a base coat on, guys. It just gives you a flat, a, a smooth surface to work on. And what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to cure these, give them a second coat off camera and then I'll be back right back with you. 
and I'll see you in a few. Hey guys, I'm back. Now, I'm just coming in with some quick tools. Oops. Um, this one uh, must be wax pencil draw. Oh god. Right, I'm just have to use this for something. Right, I'm just going to go in with this gorgeous holographic blue. And what I'm doing, guys, is I'm just literally pacing them on top of a wet layer of base coat. Look at the gorgeousness of this blue. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to take this one off right now because I'm just trying to make sure I've got all the edges. I'm going to get a bit more. And this is one of our fine mixes. Just going to give that a double cure on the lamp and then move it on to the next one. I'm going to put the lid on before I decide I'm going to chuck it everywhere. I'm going to go in with this one next. I'm just doing the same same thing to this one. I just want to show you how easy it is you can to use our mixers. We do do chunkier ones. But um, shit, I just put my hand in some work basically. And that's the green one. I'm gonna try and see if I can just put a bit more on the edge. I'm just gonna give these double cures, guys, because. It's got a um, Christ, I can't even think what I'm trying to say. Because it's got glitter on, it's got to penetrate through the, through the thing. So, what I'm going to do on this one, I'm going to put the white, and on the grey, I'm going to put the silver. So, 
And on this one, I'm going to just show you the bigger chunks, what you can do with the bigger chunks. Can't remember which one I said I was going to do what on now. If I do this one on the white and the blue, I mean, sorry. This is, um, I believe it's the rainbow iridescent that we've got. Because it changes colour and it looks like icing. I'm just making sure all the bits are on there now. Camera don't want to focus. And then on the grey one I'm going to do the silver holographic one. These lids are so awkward to put on. You've got, you've got to catch that bite just right guys I find. Right now onto the hollow. Who, who doesn't like hollow? the hollow I'm gonna give that a double sure I'm gonna do this one and on this last now guys what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put both of these ones on one now okay as I really wanted to keep I do can't get this lid on oh here we go This one's going to be fiddlier, so I should have done this now first, you know. What I'm going to do, where's my... Oh, Nyagma. Where'd that go? Hmm. Oh, there it is, tucked there at the way. Well, I'm going to use my wax pencil for this one, guys. I'm just going to move this bit of tissue out of the way for a minute. And then you'll be able to see why. I've got this one because what I want to do is place some of these bits on. Now, I've got some white mylar. And it looks like cracked ice, guys. And some of these iridescent... Um dots and we're just gonna just i'm just it's just so you can see what they look like and the shine from these dots are just out of its world i'm telling you There's no right or wrong reason, I've just done it straight down the middle. Make it one more, I think. Right, I'm gonna, guys, look, bear with me, I've just got to put the lid on because you know how clumsy I am when it comes to little things like this. <laughs> So now I'm gonna get some of the mylar. This I'm just like literally I'm just trying to show you guys. I've 
book. Just do it there. Right, you can't... Some of them are hanging, but bear with me, guys, okay? And you'll see why. I'm going to cure that and I'll be right back, guys, okay? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For the sake of the camera guys, I've decided to give these a quick buff off camera. So, I'm just coming in now with my top coat if I can find it. So, this one adds some of the Premier Gel on it. And I'm just going to want to, I just want to show you, look at this. I'll do, like, look at that sparkle guys. Look how gorgeous that is. I do love top coat and tie. That's the white rainbow iridescent. You could tell a bit more that you've got the iridescent, but you've got the colour of the rainbow. That's the more teal one. Next one up is the holographic one, guys. Look, look at that. Look at that hollow, guys. And I'm just going to give this one a quick, because it's had a quick bath. And then I'm going to cure, and then we'll be back with the final results. Hey guys, that is the blue holographic one. And that's that one. Okay, you can see better that side. This one is the rainbow one, which is this one. And it looks different over any colour. That's that one. They are more they are true to the colour guys. As you can see. Next step is the silver hollow. And on the last now we did the dots and the, and the iridescent mylar. As you can see, the mylar was on the side, dots down the middle. And this kit is £5. And if you've got any inquiries, please contact us and we will be happy to help you. Um, Sarah's link will be in the description box below. And... Yeah, so I'll, we will see you in our next video. Bye, guys.